YouTube, Chris Moreno back with another video. It's gonna be a workout video you see from the title, going to be a pulling emphasis type of upper body workout, right? So when it comes to my training, I either do upper body, lower body, full body. I don't have a back day, arm day, armpit day, leg day, left testicle day. That, that's just not the way I train, it, it's boring for me. At the end of the day, you wanna train what's fun for you, the way that you can enjoy it. That is gonna allow you to adhere to it. It's gonna allow you to get the most results because you're actually enjoying well the pain you're going through, right? But anyways, that's besides the point. Again, I'm gonna emphasize, you know, a lot of my back, traps, biceps, right? So if you're into the split training, this workout would be pretty good for you on your, you know, back day, arm day, whatever you wanna call it. Again though. I'm going to start with the barbell overhead press because honestly, it is the most superior upper body pressing movement, right? You can't beat it. Barbell overhead press, you just get way too many benefits from doing it aside from shoulders, right? It's not just shoulders. It's a full body exercise. Everyone should be pressing above their head, right? Can't get more functional than that, man. But anyways, after I do that, then think of it more so like a typical pulling workout back day type of workout right but anyways gonna drink my pre-workout today on instead of uh, taking it straight to the dome like I usually do and yeah I'll see y'all when I get to the gym all right so to start this workout off are some barbell Z presses so I did mention the barbell overhead press is one of my go-to's to starting a workout if not the barbell bench press but also i am a firm believer in finding new variations that you suck at and you work on getting good at them right so the barbell z press is gonna definitely humble you in terms of the amount of weight that you can use and you want to make sure that you're going to a full extension as much as you can right if my triceps weren't so fucking tight honestly i'd probably be able to reach a much better overhead uh position lockout right but again this is just a brand new variation for me that I'm trying out uh, consistently. This is day one, and I promise I'm going to get better at it, right? So, with these uh, barbell Z presses, I was just aiming for three sets of six to eight reps, right? And with that weight, I got an ugly seven, but still seven, right? And then after that, some weighted pull-ups. Right, so I always start my upper body workouts with the vertical movements, unless I'm starting with the bench press, then I'll do the barbell bent over row afterwards. But when it comes to this workout, I think workout A, I start with the vertical press, uh, movements, right? So with the weighted pull-ups, set to seven with 35 pounds, holding the top uh, for a two count, then a three count descend. And then following those is a superset. These are some elbow on knee, one arm rows with the back leg as like your little lever leg, right? You just plant it back to where you feel pretty stable. And then with your forearm on your knee, you're pretty much pressing it against yourself the entire time to help create some tension. And you're gonna make sure with the rowing arm, you're letting it come all the way down so your lat fully stretches, right? You can also, slight, also slightly tilt your wrist, right? And then from there, you're just gonna drive the elbow back where you will then be able to get a pretty damn good squeeze in your lats. Try these out if you've never tried them. And then immediately after that, just some um, bridge single arm dumbbell chest presses because why not? Right, so you just get in a bridge position, right, set up, and then from there you just press. Having a very, very slight pause at the bottom, right? I'm not just bouncing off the bottom, but I'm not necessarily coming to a dead stop. I could, but I just did, decided not to do this, right? I'm, I'm really focused on overloading as much as I can in terms of the weight while being able to get good quality reps, right? 10 reps. And then of course you do the other side. When it comes to doing unilateral supersets, you're gonna notice that it's gonna have you winded, right? You're gonna get some cardio out of it, right? But hey man, that's what it's all about, right? It's about having some intensity, right? Yes, volume is one factor that you wanna have good control over, right? Um, but another factor that you want to place a uh, higher importance on, I would say, is effort and intensity. Make sure you're actually fucking trying in your workouts. That's what it's really going to come down to, to in order to achieve results. Well, 
results that you want to see in a good amount of time. And then immediately after that, did these dumbbell hip huggers, right? So pretty much think it's like you're trying to do a row, but in, in an upward fashion, not necessarily an upright row. You're literally just driving the dumbbells up your hips, right? Let the weights hug the hips. Hip huggers, you're just driving them up, feeling the squeeze in your rear delts. You may feel some traps, but you're gonna really feel your shoulders smoke, you know, especially if you're squeezing at the top. It's all about making sure you're squeezing the shit out of them, right? Whenever you're driving the weights at the, to the top. And then immediately after that, some band pull aparts, but the way you want to do these is what's critical. You want to make sure that you're actually pulling apart slow and gradually. You're not just ripping them hoes apart, right? That's what's going to make it feel burned. Think you want to resist the resistant band, right? As you're pulling the band apart. Ain't still getting 15 reps. 15 reps on both movements, keeping the reps fairly high, but still making sure that you're able to get a damn good squeeze. That's the only way you're going to really achieve a damn good pump for one, right, if you're really looking for that, but more importantly, a damn good contraction, you're actually gonna be making sure that you're using the muscle, right? And then immediately after those, we did some lat pull downs with the rope, right? And you make sure you finish in an overhead position. And for the first 10 reps, really getting a damn good squeeze at the bottom, right? One, two, one, two, three at the top. One, two, one, two, three did those for the first 10 reps and then the second 10 reps I'm just gonna blast away you know to get a little bit more of a pump and also to get a little bit more volume right but you'll notice you're gonna really feel the squeeze in your mid back you're gonna feel your serratus right this is gonna hit the mid traps and some of the low traps and also the serratus so damn good movement you don't see pretty much anybody doing those but it's all about the squeeze and also making sure you have good control and then of course when it comes to any upper body workout you should have some face pulls face pulls are too beneficial to not do everyone can benefit from them whether you're 17 years old 27 37 57 107 years old you need to be doing face pulls if you can pulling towards your face not your neck not your nipples not above your head towards your face right getting a damn good squeeze and then what's a pulling workout without some biceps and then one of my go-to's for the long head of the bicep is just some hammer curls. Making sure that you're having your shoulders pinched back, but as you drive the dumbbells upward, you can let your elbows slightly rock forward because that's one of the functions of your biceps. And when it comes to training, you wanna make sure that in order to fully get a damn good contraction in the muscle that you're targeting, if you wanna do some isolation shit, you gotta make sure that you're doing the function of the muscle. Right, so to make sure that you drive your elbows upward is doing one of the functions of the biceps. You'll feel a damn good squeeze, I promise. And then, finished off this workout with the tricep. These are a, a, well, call these just another variation of a lateral raise, but you just have it with your thumbs pointed up, right? You don't gotta necessarily hold them up, but think to have your thumbs pointed up, and then you slightly lean forward, and you wanna think to raise up with the pinkies. That's what you really wanna visualize with lateral raises, raising upward with the pinkies, and you also wanna do them in a controlled fashion. You don't wanna necessarily just raise them up as fast as you can. You wanna control on the way up and on the way down, bust out 10 reps, 15 reps, and then you do the same with the traditional lateral raises, right? With your palms facing down, still thinking about raising upward with the pinkies, right? But stand up tall, squeeze your glutes, of course, brace yourself, still retract your scapula, and then an isometric hold for 30 seconds. Still thinking about driving upward with the pinkies, but you want to keep your elbows parallel with the floor, really concentrating on squeezing the lateral head of the shoulders. And that's the workout, guys. Appreciate y'all for uh, watching my videos. Uh, I really appreciate the support. It really means a lot to me. If you like the video, like the video, give this workout a try. The workout is in the description box below, just like it always is. 